Panagdaid sa tanan, and welcome back to Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. Before we proceed to our new lesson, let's have a recap. In our first meeting, we discussed contemporary art, and we learned that it does not merely define an artwork. Instead, it focuses on the time or the era wherein the artwork is created. Contemporary art is an era of artwork. Those artworks created in our present time can fall on to the contemporary art based on our previous discussion if you want to learn more about the different areas of art you may return to our previous discussion this time our topic is about the contemporary and traditional art gawad sa malilikha ng bayan our main point here is the gawad sa malilikha ng bayan if you are not yet familiar here so we'll be discussing this later here are our objectives please take a screenshot so that we may proceed to the next um, slide Gawad sa malilikha ng bayan is also called as gamaba for short. In English, national living treasure. So, unsa ka ni si gamaba? Gamaba is actually an award which is given to artists to recognize their outstanding work. It was established in 1992 through Republic Act No. 7355 and there were 13 finest folk artists recognized by gamaba. So those artists helped in the preservation of traditional arts of the Philippines, which kept the art alive even in the contemporary period. Remember, um, the Gamaba Award, this focuses on traditional art. And yet, our generation today, we already belong to the present time. No? Lahi man si tradition, si tradition refers to sa unang time, and si contemporary is the present or kaning bagong na to nga period. So nga nung nabilong man siya sa contemporary, where in fact traditional art man siya. That is because we are doing here preservation. And besides, the definition of contemporary art is an artwork created in the present time. Although traditional art originally was originally invented or originally belonged to the past, to the previous eras, once nga maghimo tagbalik karon og traditional art, whether it is our own or not, it belongs to the contemporary era. Kay karon man siya gibuhat. So who are the Gamaba Awardees? Kinsa man sila? So these are the people who have adopted a program that will ensure the transfer of their skills to others. So these are artists, traditional artists who are um, using their skills not just in creating traditional arts but helping the Filipinos learn to do the same art. The purpose of this is preservation of artworks, traditional artworks, so that dili mawala ato ang original artwork. Undertake measures to promote a genuine appreciation of traditional craft. So, you need to be someone, you need to be an artist who also promotes the traditional arts. In what way? It could be through performance, it could also be exhibit or other forms. In school, we have the Kalino Dance Troupe. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them, but before the new normal, katong face-to-face -face patong klase, the Kalinaw ensembles always perform traditional dances. No, ilahang main goal is to preserve um, the traditional dance for the Philippines. That is a very good example in preservation of traditional art. Filipinos conferred as the forefront of the practice, preservation, and promotion of the nation's traditional folk arts. So, of course, Filipino manta. So, we are expected to be the first one. Kita dapat ang maguna-una o promote sa tuang own nga artwork. So, let's not expect other countries to um, promote our artwork, but let's lead the promotion by ourselves. So, here are the different mechanics to become a Gamaba Awardee. If you want to become a Gamaba Awardee, so this slide is for you. Um, Gamaba is actually like a contest. Moranisha contest. In order for us to receive this award, we need to follow the specific uh, mechanics. So, you must be an, an inhabitant of an indigenous traditional cultural community anywhere in the Philippines. So, dapat you belong to the to a certain tradition in our country or indigenous culture. 
So it does not matter in which part guided nga it belongs it it is located in the Philippines. So you need to preserve indigenous customs, beliefs, rituals and traditions also of that particular tribe that you are living in. So you also need to practice their um costumes, beliefs, rituals and traditions. You must engage in a folk art tradition that has been in existence for at least 50 years. So, dapat ang culture ng imong gipuyan has already existed for at least 50 years. You must have consistently performed or produced over a significant period. So, the artworks or performance that you have, traditional artworks and performance rather, that you have performed or produced, you should be at least have a minimum number meaning to say dapat daghan na kag na perform or nabuhat nga traditional artworks you also need to be consistent meaning to say dili ka mag stop he or she or the group must possess a mastery of tools and materials needed by the art so it refers to the mastery in creating the traditional creating or performing the traditional or um, performance so nganong need man ang uh, mastery. Well, you are an artist. You are expected to be an expert. And experts, as an expert, you need to be well in manipulating the, um, let's say, the tools in creating this certain craft, the materials in making this kind of structure, or the dance steps in performing this kind of dance, traditional dance rather. You must have passed on or will pass on to other members of the community their skills. So you need to be someone who is influential, meaning the skills, tradition, this, your skills in traditional arts must also be passed to other members in your community by yourselves, of course. Dapat kabalupud bumu teach. In that way, the preservation of the traditional art will be consistent and will go on as uh, traditional. Morana siyang ma tradition yun. That would be the end of our lesson for today, and I do hope that you learn a lot. Anyway, the discussion is very short because this is just an introduction of our um, discussion. Next meeting, we'll be discussing each of the Gamaba awardees, and please answer the activities before it expires. Thank you, class, for coming. For questions, you may send them to me in a private message. Thank you for coming, and goodbye.